The 2025 Volvo EX30 loads up on features for a low starting price, though some will be cool to its thrifty cabin and its adequate range. What kind of vehicle is the 2025 Volvo EX30? The smallest electric crossover from the Swedish automaker, the 2025 Volvo EX30, is positioned beneath the XC40 Recharge. It is more compact than the Genesis GV60, Tesla Model Y, and Polestar 3. With a range of up to 275 miles, it's a decent, reasonably priced electric hatchback, but its SUV credentials are questionable, and anyone accustomed to Volvo's more luxurious recent offerings won't find that here. We awarded an overall TCC rating of 7.5 out of 10, with features and efficiency ranking among its highest points. What's new for the 2025 Volvo EX30? Volvo intends to become a completely electric vehicle manufacturer by 2030, and the 2025 EX30 joins the EX93 row crossover, XC40 recharge small crossover, and C40 recharge hatchback in the company's expanding electric lineup. With its hammer-style LED headlamps fastened on its front end, an upturned roof pillar in rear, deep scallops in its side panels, and broad shoulders, it looks the part, both Volvo and electric crossover. Stubby? It is, but it's done really well. There's another vibe to the interior, with its minimalist, single-screen control center and strong emphasis on recycled elements. Although it is light and airy, some of the dash component's rough quality doesn't match the exceptional performance it offers. The EX30 is available with a rear-wheel drive system that has two motors. The single-motor version can accelerate the SUV to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds, while the dual-motor version can skim the tarmac while accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds. Either way, the maximum speed is set at 112 miles per hour. The EX30 has excellent ride quality even with 20-inch wheels, and it accelerates quickly off the line and leans into turns with composure. The EX30's battery electric range is only surpassed by the Volvo's battery electric acceleration, which can travel up to 275 miles for a single motor vehicle and 265 miles for a dual motor vehicle. With a peak charging rate of 153 watt, the dual motor model's battery pack can be charged from 10% to 80% in less than 30 minutes using a fast charge session. The soft, supportive front seats of Volvo's latest small SUV are as comfortable as ever, and the minimalist cabin at least provides lots of space for storing little items. However, the rear seat has limited tow and knee room. When the seatbacks are down, the 14.1 cubic feet of cargo space behind the back seats expands to 34.9 cubic feet. The EX30 hasn't undergone crash testing, but it has many of safety features. Standard features include adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and automatic emergency braking. What is the price of the Volvo EX30 in 2025? The Google-based infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay, leather upholstery, and 18-inch wheels are standard on the single-motor EX30 core, which has a starting price of $36,245. Harman Kardon Sound, a wireless smartphone charging, 19-inch wheels, and a panoramic roof are added to the $40,195 EX30+. Plus. The Plus model with two motors is $46,195. The dual-motor EX30 Ultra is the most expensive model at $47,895. 2025 Volvo EX30 Styling with its pixelated hammer-shaped headlights that bind the front ends of the tiny crossover with short overhangs, the EX30 has the appearance of a new Volvo. The tall, flat face bearing the Volvo badge is divided by a diagonal line. The lower bumper's tuck is drawn up into the hood's crease at that line. The broad shoulders supporting the greenhouse are formed by a high belt line that runs parallel to the scalloped entrance panels. In profile, it resembles a more proportionate version of the rounded BMW i3, but with a black floating roof that pays homage to the traditional Volvo wagon design. Split rear taillights ascend up the sides from the back, and a C-shaped piece clamps the badge over the tailgate. The next EX30 Cross Country rides a little higher and has a more off-road aesthetic, similar to earlier Volvo Cross Country models. It also sports skid plates on both the front and rear bumpers and black panels on both. Although 18-inch wheels with different tires are available, it rides on 19-inch wheels. Should that fail to distinguish it, the tiny Swedish flag situated on the hood ought to do the job. 
The interior design features four main themes that showcase materials obtained sustainably, all while optimizing every square inch of available space for both passengers and storage. The minimally equipped cabin features a 12.3-inch portrait-style touchscreen between vertical vents. The dash's perimeter at the doors is marked by an additional set of vertical vents that have sliding plastic tabs that regulate airflow. Like the Mustang Mach-E, the instruments are all on the central screen, there isn't even a separate display for speed. It is a stark, Tesla-inspired space with materials that recall the values of a bygone period rather than conforming to the latest Volvo aesthetic. In a few hundred words, more on that. 2025 Volvo EX30 Comfort and Quality The inside of the form-fitting EX30 is reminiscent of the bland Volvo 240. The EX30's front seats are the most comfortable, but the cargo and back seats suffer from size compromises. Reducing quality compromises also benefits sustainability. Here, it's a 6. With a 104.3-inch wheelbase, the dimensions of the EX30 are 166.7 inches long by 72.3 inches wide. It is also shorter than a Kia Seltos or a Hyundai Kona, by about 8 inches. In the front, where there is ample headroom and 41.9 inches of legroom for the driver and passenger, the statistics don't really matter. They settle into plush cushions draped in a fabric made of recyclable materials, serving as a signpost for the remainder of the cabin. All variants have heated seats as an option, however the EX30 Ultra is the only one with power adjustment. Although we would want greater tilt to the bottom cushion, the main cabin of the EX30 is roomy and light. Concealed storage in unexpected areas surrounds the front passengers. These are all simple, affordable solutions, the little glove box is under the console's center, the power window buttons are atop the armrest, and the cup holders emerge from the lower half of the armrest. Beneath the butterfly cover, the console offers additional storage. Since there are no additional speakers, the soundbar, which is located at the base of the windshield, requires less wiring. The power mirror settings on the Volvo EX30 are accessed using a multi-gesture approach that involves tapping the screen and swiping on the steering wheel controls, which require fine-tuning for optimal adjustment. Due to its wind-cheating design, the rear of the EX30 has tall but narrow door cuts that need to be tucked and rolled in order to enter. Taller passengers may find the EX30's 32.3 inches of rear seat legroom insufficient, and there is little tow room beneath the front seats. The storage container concealed in the front armrest is accessible from the back seats. Many drivers will choose to fold down the seat backs, increasing the load capacity of the EX30 from 14.1 cubic feet to 31.9 cubic feet. Under the hood is an additional 0.2 cubic feet of front trunk room. Perhaps you could squeeze a book up there. All right, enough about that inside. Put aside the gray birch wood trim and orifers crystal shifters found on the elegant Volvo SUVs of the last 10 years. This Volvo is reminiscent of the plastic used in 240 sedans and wagons from the 1970s and 1980s, which probably could have withstood thermonuclear strikes. Although it pushes the limits of thrift, the Ford Maverick grade interior bets that buyers would pay more for sustainability. The recycled denim suite, which has flax trim on the cockpit, is our least favorite of the four interior themes because it softens the rough plastic surfaces the most. The EX30 raises more questions about polish than fit, and the cabin nearly costs the car a point in this regard. How safe is the Volvo EX30? We do anticipate that the EX30 will uphold Volvo's stellar record for collision safety. Adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitors with steering assistance, automated emergency braking, and rear parking sensors are all standard safety features. The mid-grade plus model gains front parking sensors, while the Ultra receives hands-free driving assistance, an automated park assist system, and a surround view camera system called Volvo Pilot Assist. 2025 Volvo EX30 Features Options are few, but the Volvo EX30 is rich in value. With a strong warranty, ample standard features, and good value, the Volvo EX30 earns an 8 for features. Which Volvo EX30 should I buy? If you're on a tight budget, you should get the $36,245 base 2025 EX30. The infotainment system in the Accor model, which has a single motor, is Google-based, however wireless Apple CarPlay is standard. 
Additional standard features include cloth upholstery, 18-inch wheels, LED headlights, and the standard power controls. The $500 option package for the core includes a heated steering wheel and heated seats. Though the Dual Motor EX30, available only in the Plus and Ultra trims, may be desired by some, that is still a wonderful deal. The price of the EX30 Plus with a single motor is $40,195. It has a wireless smartphone charger, 19-inch black alloys, panoramic roof, and Harman Kardon sound. Plus, with its dual powertrain, costs $46,195. 20-inch wheels may be added by Volvo to the Plus and Ultra EX30 for $800. How much is a fully loaded Volvo EX30? The top model in the series, the EX30 Ultra, now has lumbar support for the front power seats. The Ultra with a single motor costs $41,895. Performance Ultra with dual motors is $47,895. The EX30 is covered by a 4-year per 50,000 mile warranty that includes three complimentary regular maintenance visits. The current federal tax incentive program is not applicable to the EX30 due to its Chinese manufacturing location. 2025 Volvo EX30 Fuel Economy Volvo estimates that the single-motor EX30 will have a range of 275 miles, while the dual-motor version will have a range of 265 miles. This receives a score of 10 here, assuming final EPA ratings, with an approximate mileage of 3.0 miles per kilowatt hour. According to Volvo, the dual-motor all-wheel drive EX30 can DC rapid charge from 10 to 80% of battery capacity at a maximum rate of 153 kilowatts in roughly 27 minutes. Early in the EX30's life, Volvo will move from the original CCS charging connection to the Tesla-derived NACS standard. Until freshly constructed EX30s fit them instead of the CCS port, owners will be given the option to use a NACS adapter. Thanks for watching.